Welcome to another tech tip from MarkPorterLive.com. Today we're going to be talking about Mozilla's Popcorn Maker. Now, if you're using videos in your marketing, and I hope you are, you're probably going to be using YouTube to share those videos and embed them on your website. Well, as great as YouTube is, there are some considerable limitations. One of the biggest is the fact that you can't link to an outside website. So if you want to link, you're going to have to put it down there in the description. Or you could put it in the annotations, I guess. But um, one, you can't really link from the annotations. And number two, people can just turn them off if they want. But with Mozilla's Popcorn Maker, what you can do is create pop-ups while your video is playing that can link to any other site that you'd like. So imagine if you had a video that showed a house listing. Instead of just having a link down in the description, you could actually make a link to the video uh, or in the video that would send the surfer directly to your listing MLS. Now, how cool would that be? Um, Popcorn Maker uses the videos that you already have in YouTube. So all you've got to do is just copy the links into Popcorn Maker. And then from there, you can edit. You can add different pop-ups if you'd like. Um, so like for this video, I wanted to add a click here button at some point so that uh, the surfer could go to you know a different website. Um, so just need to move that down a little. And then all I gotta do is put in the link here. I'm gonna go ahead and put the link into the blog back to our main site, um, which is the same link as I've got here in the description. So I can just put that link into here, copy that, and then save it. Then after I embed it and put it into my web page, then my new player should show up and have that clickable link in there. And then once I click that, it pauses the video and then goes straight to the website. And it will actually open up a new window for you as well. So you don't need to worry about losing the surfer on your video. Popcorn Maker also has some really robust text editing uh, capability in it as well. Uh, it seems to be a little bit better than YouTube. Uh, YouTube has some um, as well, but this seems a little bit, uh, has just a couple more features. And the biggest thing is that it stays when you want it. Uh, you can also add in a Google Maps uh, straight into your video and uh, a couple of other features like Wikipedia as well. So all in all, uh, Popcorn Maker, a very fantastic little program that you can use just to give your videos a little bit more punch and uh, give a little bit more engagement to the surfer. Well, that does it for this tech tip. For more tech tips, visit our YouTube channel at Mark Porter Live and also visit our webpage at markporterlive.com to get the latest on upcoming classes and events. Oh,